Yes. I'm at work, so I can't do the fancy little Jets intro. I can't give you the little 30-second countdown, but I thought it was important. In case anybody didn't see it on Twitter, if you're not Twitter-connected, that the Jets did sign Quan Alexander. This is something we've been talking about for quite some time. Um, for pretty much the last two months, people have been saying that Quan Alexander would be a great fit. We know that we had already spoken to him. We recently found out that Riley Reef had signed with the Chicago Bears for $10 million, explaining why we didn't sign him, because obviously we're not going to pay $10 million for a swing tackle, um, which you really can't fault anyone there. Um, you know, the only thing I guess people could do is they might criticize Chicago and think they overpaid. But if they had the cap space and they want to give Justin Fields some level of protection, um, you know, they, they had to do something and they did. So here we are, and we signed Quan Alexander. Look, this is something we needed. We needed a some at the very least, whether he's a starter or not. We needed depth, right? I mean, the biggest, biggest, um, scariest thing that could have happened is C.J. Mosley gets hurt, and then what do we do? Quincy Adams, uh, Williams, Quincy Adams. I did it again. Can you believe that? I think the guy is like the president of the United States. Quincy Williams goes down. What do we do? We have two guys who are hurt. You know, Sherwood. Even if he comes back, I mean, how long did the guy last before he got hurt last? You know, last year. So here, we put Quan Alexander. He, he he has a chance to definitely start. He definitely might be out there. I don't know. I, I sometimes we have three linebackers on the field. Sometimes we only have two. Um, but we make the room stronger. We bring in experience. We bring in a guy who knows the system, a guy that Coach Salah knows. He wouldn't be on this team if he wasn't the right fit, if he wasn't the right cultural fit, if he wasn't the right fit for the system. He would not be here. He's specifically here because they know him and they know exactly what he brings. So the fact that we brought him in can only be a positive. It can't be bad for the New York Jets. Now, of course, other teams... On Facebook, man, there's a lot of ignorance. That, well, you know, we're going to surprise a lot of people. I almost want to write down the names of everybody on Facebook that reacted to that article and said, why did he go there? We went to the miserable Jets. He's just, you know, just said horrible things. And I can't wait till we're winning games and we could throw it back in the face of these doubters and the people that want to talk smack about us. And believe me, we're going to throw it in their face. Like, um, they're going to regret the things they're saying. We're going to make them look very, very silly when, uh, when we get going. So um, I have no idea how I'm supposed to look at the chat and see you guys. But I see there are some people here. I saw Mark Reese. What's up? I saw a proud New York Jets fan here. And, of course, Grandizer, who was very quick to get to me and make sure I knew the news. Um, I appreciate that, Grandizer. I had about – it feels pretty, pretty good to me. I had about, like, four or five people reach out to me directly to let me know that this happened. So that's kind of cool when people start, like, rushing to tell you. <laughs> so that's cool. What's up? Um, I think who's here? Who, Dakota's here. What's up? And Mark Reese, my friend Mark Reese is here. What's going on, man? Um, yeah, you know, I'm buttoned up, collar, no food. I didn't shave, though, but I'm going to have to shave because the students are about to come back. It's getting serious here at, at, on my campus. We're, like, getting ready to get back to it. But we just, I was stuck in a meeting, so I wanted to come out with this video a little shorter. But I knew I had to wait for the meeting to end. But now the meeting is over. I'm taking a little bit of a break because I've been an hour and a half of talking and listening. And figured I'd come on, jump on with you guys, and make sure that everybody has access to the news. Because I know sometimes these things go out on Twitter, and we don't know about it. But now you guys know. Like, everybody should know by now. Um, I'm sure there's other YouTube content providers going crazy and spreading out this news. I'm sure it's going to pop up in every media forum. It's not going to be that long until everybody knows. There was a time where it took three or four days for people to find out moves like this. Um, and it's amazing how we went from dead, I mean completely dead, no news, to camp, reports about players, who's starting where, who's at weight, um, and signing people. So Grandizer's even given me the exact way to read it, so I can read it like I'm, a, I'm a, a press agent. Breaking news. Former 49ers and Saints linebacker Quan Alexander is signing a one-year deal with the New York Jets per source. Alexander played for Jets HC Robert Sala in San Francisco. 
So that is the most direct way to read the news. That is the way I read it. That's the way everybody read it. Again, we know as Jet fans, though, because the stupid people on Facebook, why would he sign here? It makes no sense. He knows the system. He knows the coach. The coach knows him. And it's a natural fit for him. And this is the kind of thing where I can't wait until those imbeciles catch on to the fact there's going to be a lot of players that want to come here. There's going to be a plenty of players that want to come here. And in a couple of years, they're going to see it and understand it when we're winning and kicking their butt. And I can't wait for that day. It's like people are so simple-minded. All they know how to do is say, they weren't good last year for the last few years, so they're not good. They have no ability to look at a team, look at what the direction the team's going in. We, I don't know how many wins games we're going to win this year, but we are on the right track. And it is only a matter of time. The clock is ticking. The Jets' time is coming. We are coming. We are going to have our time. My time now. My time. I forgot what that's from. But that's what's going to happen. It's going to be our time. Nick is going to go. You know what? Nick Shine told me that really, you know, he was, he was online. A lot of times he's been on his channel, proud New York Jets fan. And what Nick has been telling people is that when you order a ham, egg, and cheese sandwich in New Jersey, it should be ordered as a pork, a pork roll egg and cheese sandwich. But he told me in confidence that really he considers it a Taylor ham egg and cheese sandwich. So Nick Shine is a Taylor ham egg and cheese sandwich guy. But his friends make fun of people that say it that way and say that that doesn't exist. It's a pork roll egg and cheese sandwich. Now, I love Nick, but Nick is a little bit of a conformist. He does what his friends, you know, say. He wants to fit in. He wants people to like him. Da, da, da. So, unfortunately, Nick has given in to that, and Nick Shine is pretending to call it a pork roll egg and cheese sandwich, but he would never order it that way. He, Nick Shine goes into a deli, and he says, give me a Taylor ham egg and cheese sandwich. That's how he orders it, everybody. So don't believe it if he tells you anything else. Anyway, just wanted to make sure everybody knew that Quan Alexander is a Jet. This is good for us. He knows the scheme. He's capable. He's not a superstar. He's solid, though. He's going to be in position. He wanted to talk about stop the run and why we struggled and players out of position. The screen pass, out of position. Not Quan Alexander. He comes in as a guy, day one, who understands the system and understands where to be. And he's another guy, a veteran guy, in the system that can coach and mentor the other players that are still learning the system. So this is just a good, good day. And I think the Kansas City Chiefs made a move as well to improve their defense. And Clutch is going to help tell us that maybe if he puts it in the chat. Um, I can kind of give you an idea or announce that news too. I'm not sure who it is, but I know that the Kansas City Chiefs made some kind of move. They um, added to their defense as well. Um, and if I see him, if I see that chat come up, I will uh, share that information as well. But uh, it looks like he signed, oh, Kansas City signed Carlos Dunlap. So Carlos Dunlap is now a Kansas City Chief. That's happened as well. What I'm concerned about is our New York Jets. We now have Quan Alexander, C.J. Mosley as, as our top two linebackers, I would think. C.J. Mosley, Quan Alexander, and, well, Quincy Williams, arguably. But we have three linebackers now that have experience um, some people are, are up and down on Quincy. Again, Quan is not a superstar, but he knows the system and he's solid. And then you got the younglings that we're bringing up. You got Sherwood. You got Nazaldine. We'll see if he's just special teams or if he ever you know makes it as a linebacker. And then we got the outside um, dark horse in uh, DQ Thomas, which would be great because every time he made a sack or did something big, I would eat a Dairy Queen Sunday. That was going to kind of the direction I was going with that. But... Um, I don't know. He's kind of a long shot to make the team. Anyway, Jets fans, jet up. Enjoy um, Thursday Thick of It tonight with Green Bean Jets fan at 8 o'clock p.m. He'll be on. Um, I think he's got something brewed or cooked up tonight, something special. I mean, it's the return. It's the return of Green Bean. So there's that just in itself. So enjoy that and take care and be well. Signing off.
Jets Chaos.